Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation. I'm John Dickerson. This morning, hundreds poured into the Mother Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston. It's the first service since a gunman opened fire on a Bible study class Wednesday night. The church is the oldest AME church in the South and central to the community where it has come to be known as Mother Emmanuel. The front page of Charleston's local paper, the Post and Courier Gazette, paid tribute to the Emmanuel Nine. People from across the state and the country have visited memorials outside the church to pay their respects since Wednesday's shooting. And just a short time ago, bells rang at places of worship across the nation in honor of the nine victims, none so powerfully as those in the city of Charleston itself. We begin our coverage with CBS News Justice Correspondent Jeff Pegues, who is outside Mother Emanuel AME Church. Jeff, what's the latest on the investigation? Well, John, the FBI is taking steps to verify the authenticity of Dylan Roof's purported manifesto. It was found on a website that also contained photographs of the accused killer. Here is Dylan Roof burning an American flag with the Confederate flag and pointing a gun at a camera. The website also contains a 2400 word manifesto which says he was not raised in a racist home, but the event that truly awakened him was the Trayvon Martin case. It prompted him to search for information online. He found some of it on extremist websites and concluded it was obvious that Zimmerman was in the right, and I have never been the same since that day. The manifesto details hatred toward blacks, Hispanics, and Jews. The author says, I have no choice. We have no skinheads, no real KKK, no one doing anything but talking on the internet. Well, someone has to have the bravery to take it to the real world, and I guess that has to be me. All units responding, 110 Calhoun State. Active shooter, multiple people down. On Wednesday night, investigators believe Roof went to the Bible study meeting, first sat with parishioners, and then stood up, pulled out a handgun, and fired as many as two dozen shots. John, the peace and security of the church was shattered on Wednesday night with the shooting. Congregants today hope to reclaim that feeling. Jeff Pagase in Charleston for us. Thank you very much, Jeff.